All right, so for this problem, if you guys remember, what we previously did was we looked at a graph, right? We took a look at the graph and we said, all right, well, between these two points, it's easy. What you can do is you can just create a slope triangle and find the change in the y's over the change in the x's, right? No? Yeah, that's all I guess I had to do, right? So now the next thing we need to do is, what if I'm just giving you two points? All right, and out of those two points, I want you to do that. I, oh, come on, man. I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah. So, what we need to do, all right, is we can do this a couple ways. First way is you guys can plot these points on a graph and do the slope triangle like we did before. You can go ahead and graph those if you want to and define the slope. However, there's also a formula that we use, which we call the slope formula. All right, and the slope formula distinguishes our two points. Remember, slope tells us the change in the y's over the change in the x's. How are our x and our y coordinates changing? So what I have is, you guys remember we talked about if I, had, if I knew two people, right? Aaron and Aaron, how do you tell them apart? If I said it was Aaron Smith and then Aaron Connors, you're like, which Aaron is Aaron? You do you, we always last time we say, hey, Aaron, and then both Aarons would say what? Right? So a lot of times we say, hey, I'm going to call you Connors and I'm going to call you Smith. Or what was that the other name? Smith? Yeah. yeah. So I said Smith and Connors. So usually we just say what the last name is to distinguish between the two Aarons, right? If you have two people with the same first name, sometimes you call them by the last name to distinguish between them. Here, I have two x and y coordinates, right? I have two x's and I have two y's. So the way that in mathematics we distinguish them is these I give 1, and then this one I give a 2. Here I give 1, and here I give a 2. So remember, when we want to find the change, if I say, what's the change? If I had $8, and now, after working over the weekend, I have $20, what's in the change of the amount of money that I have? We say, well, you went to 8 to 20. 20 minus 8, that means 12. That means you made $12 over the weekend, right? What operation did I do? Did I multiply, divide, subtract, add? I subtracted 20 minus 8. So when you want to find the change, the difference, you're going to subtract. All right, Chris? I think you need to put your hands on your desk because that's obviously not helping you out yet. There we go. So now, when you're looking at this, all right, if I want to find the change in the y values, I'm going to just subtract my y values. So I just do y2 minus y1. So I do negative 2 minus 3 over 7 minus 4. So what's negative 2 minus 3? If you have negative $2 and you borrow 3 more, you now owe negative 5. 7 minus 3 is 3. Therefore, your m, which is your slope, is negative 5 thirds. OK? Any questions? Wow, a lot of people are making a lot of noise.